So we have the Chuck 3D printed, we have our pieces, but now we have to build the mold for the casting of the piece. Um, and these are just test pieces. These aren't the original uh, Chuck pieces yet. I will cast those, but I wanna test them first and test the ideas out to ensure that they work before I go through and cast the whole part. For this entire week, I have been doing nothing but testing different molds. So our first cast was kind of an interesting one. I took a rougher mixture and I put it around a part that had the sculpting clay around it and I casted that piece. We broke it, but it turned out like this, which is not even near the result that we need for this chuck. Time to build some different molds. This next part, I thought I would just try the clay mix with one of these pieces made out of this and see how well that works. I found on some of my molds, I made them in flexible containers and it caused the molds to crack because they were flexible. And here, like, settle it in. Settle this piece looks in. Looks like a cracking mess to me already. It looks way too high on clay. But I'm not positive on that. Night later, batch that we did yesterday. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, as I expected, the much higher clay content one has cracked. The clay shrinks, which causes, well, cracking. So that didn't um, work, but that's okay. Well, maybe we'll do something different about that one. It did, it did harden nicely, I do like that though. I'll try something different. As I was working with this clay material, it dawned on me that there's actually another type of material that I could work with. I'm um, actually several different materials. I could use green sand and I could use plaster of Paris, but I already started kind of this other method and I really wanted to see and really play out this other method before I tried those. Rolling back. So I originally used to build my foundry, I actually used a mixture of sand, cement, and ash, and that worked really well. In fact, the foundry has no cracks in it whatsoever. And so I'm thinking I could use that material to build my molds out of and melt the plastic out that way. So I figured I'd try that. So I'm gonna build two of them and I'm basically gonna make a mixture of four sand, uh, one cement and one ash. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the batch. Here's our two molds that we're going to put our things into, like that. I'm gonna put them in the mud like this, uh, face down with this tip pointing downward so that I have this back that I can pour it into. I'm thinking that will produce the best pour result. I'm just gonna pack this in a little bit before I bury it. I feel extremely confident in this. I really think that this is going to work. All right, so we'll go ahead and let these molds sit here and set up and dry. All right, the parts are dry, so now it's time to put them in the furnace. Basically just took it right off. Got the two molds, quicker. Let me put one in here. Those are perfect.
Ready? For this one first. Oh. Okay, that's an issue with the burnout. So we just needed to burn it out longer. Look at this one. Yeah. Ooh, don't break it. Wow, that's good enough for the mold, huh? The layer heights, everything's there. I think some of the places the plastic wasn't burnt out enough. Uh, we are seeing little pieces of plastic here, so that's why we're missing the teeth on this piece. If we would have burnt it out long enough and got that extra little bit of plastic out of there, we'll make a note for that next time. Wow, I'm actually very impressed by the quality of these parts, um, especially this piece here. This is good enough to put on the chuck. We could just sand it down and just plop it on there and it will work. How in the world am I going to even get all this to fit together when I sand it and stuff? No clue. We're going to find out next week. We found our material, we found out how we're gonna do it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with another fun, awesome project. Bye. Did anyone know those work without electricity? I didn't. <laughs>